Members of the Puente Arizona Human Rights Movement gathered to write letters to detainees currently at the Eloy Detention Center. Cronkite News reporter Lilia Calvillo shows us what the impact these letters have on their recipients. Adela Lozano has been writing letters to her husband in immigration detention for two years. Now she does it for others as well. The time goes by slow for them. It's very sad to be there, and their consolation is receiving a letter. Lozano is part of Uno por Uno or One by One, an organization that supports immigrant detainees held at the Eloy Detention Center. As part of their initiative, they write letters to people facing deportation. The letters are delivered to this immigration detention center in Eloy, run by a private corporation known as Core Civic. The truth is, when we are detained, morale no longer exists for us, and we feel unprotected, humiliated, segregated, and discriminated. Receiving the letters made everything change. My companions smile again. Juan Miguel Cornejo, an asylum seeker, joined the group as soon as he was released from being in detention for eight months. I felt reassured that there were people fighting for me and the others detained and that made me remain hopeful even during the most difficult times. Volunteers not only write letters but also fundraise to send them money for food and personal care items like toothpaste and deodorant. Sometimes they visit just to lift their spirits. In Phoenix, Lilia Calvillo, Cronkite News. After this event, the Eloy Detention Center received 47 letters.